Now, guys, so we'll go and talk about Tornado Dark Fate. Okay, so it's $2.4 million for Halloween previews. Um, so, they're going to use one movie, okay? One movie, okay? They're not going to go over all the other movies, okay? That had, you know, okay, so okay, uh, first of all, according to, Doc, according to these guys, this could be the best opening in the franchise. It's reasonable, of course. It's Maleficent, you know, opened with $40 million. It's reasonable, okay? Okay, reasonable, you know. $1.4 million for Endgame, which it does as well as Genesis, okay? Both day previews do not really dictate how our film does. It was, it's really the Friday opening, okay? They're saying it's going to be the highest grossing Tornier movie in history because it's reasonable, you know, of course. And when the Hamilton's back, and you know, everybody loves her because he was in Tornier too, you know, she's so classic. Uh, and they brought back uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, okay? You know, the classics, you know, because it's not like the old people, okay? It's like, it's, yeah, the classics, of course, they're going to bring them back, you know? And of course, they can say, oh, movies in open with 2.5 million, too, but it's doing very better than Tony and Genesis, okay, here. You see here, they don't really sell for the previews for literally um, every sci fi movie, because it will destroy the narrative that this movie's going to do well, okay? Um. But you guys see a reader of. Do they have one for the Thursday previews for a reader? Or oh, it's Wednesday previews? Because the movie came out on Thursday. Okay, so what's compelled to a reader by Angel? Um, so, a reader by Angel. Okay, here's an example. A reader by Angel did $2.4 million. And. A rebel angel grossed um forty two million dollars across its um a I think it's a four to five day weekend. Okay. Two point four million dollars, yeah. That's exactly the same as Dark Fate. And you can see that Rita Bell Angel on the on the weekend, just the weekend alone, okay. And and Bell Angel did have holidays to help it. Okay, so okay, so the numbers, yeah. Okay, you can see here, let's look up a read about Angel. Here. And these are movies that I said I would do it, still it does as bad as. Okay. Okay, so here's a read about Angel. Um. And. Its first weekend was around $27 million. The three day weekend was $27 million. So, you know, a read about Angel. Same, it's the same, but the knock I say, oh, it's, you know, it's doing just as bad as a Rita Bell Angel. Because of the story of narrative is saying, oh, it's be the highest grossing tournament for a movie, because, you know, it's woke. You know, it's woke, of course, it's gonna do well, it's woke, you know. You know, it's a woke movie, you know, it's a woke, of course, it has, you know, it's woke. People go to school and watch it, it's a fullback, and you know, it's reasonable, or, you know. Or, let's take a Pacific Rim, okay. Pacific, okay, movies that goes around. Okay, so let's just go look at movies that goes around this amount here. Okay, a read about Angel here. For example, so they don't have one for all time domestic openings. They have. Biggest domestic February weekend, which I want biggest weekend openings, okay. All time, op like you see here, Read About Angel goes $85 million. At Box of Mojo, they had to get rid of this, so there was no way that we would see compared to Dark Fate, okay. Okay, so look at Dark Fate, um, compared to other movies that, you know, they are doing similarly, okay. Yes. The best comparison for this movie is easily The Last Night. Another movie that completely, you know, bombed at the box office. And it's, you know, Dark Fate is doing, you know, well, actually, it's doing Transformers The Last Night. Um, yeah, for example, oh, okay, so International, the movie did better than Dark Fate already. Okay, so let's see the, actually, I can see the International here. So France opened better, Germany it opened better. UK open better and Moesa it it has no sales. That became me. No sales for Moesa or Thailand. 
no sales. Those are the other two markets that opened in. So, Dark Knight, Dark, last night is all doing way better internationally than, you know, Dark Fate is. With are saying, Dark Fate's, you know, the best Tony movie since, you know, or get to the about it or in uh, Tony and Genesis, which, you know, do, are doing, doing exactly the same as, you know, these movies, this movie, yeah, Dark Fate, you know, they're gonna say it's the highest, or oh, it's gonna make the most money, you know, because it's a woke movie, you know, it's, you know, reasonable, or, you know, it's gonna go to two million, four, forty million dollars, you know, it's not, it's like, it's kind of like they're ignoring the fact that the movie is completely flopping everywhere, it's gonna open just as well as the about Angel and, you know, Tornado Genesis, okay, it definitely do. It's doing even worse. That's bad. It has to be a Gemini Man, okay? That's as bad as movies like Gemini Man, okay? That's just the funny thing. Gemini Man is doing just as well as Dark Fate is doing worldwide. And there are other NS comparisons like Ender's Game, okay? Ender's Game is not, didn't do too well internationally as the either. You can see a Gemini Man, you know? Um, didn't do too well internationally. $100 million. Could this be Tony Dark Fate's actual fate here, okay? Opening does Gemini Man and just not having good wigs because no one wants to see it. Okay, Gemini Man was a movie that no one wanted to see. Okay, you can see here one of his comparisons was you know a read about Angel, um, and it did way worse than a read about Angel. A read about Angel. This is this was a read about Angel's like fifth day. Okay, like first week, <laughs> like seventh day, and it's, it it beat Gemini Man completely. Okay, this is just. Probably the fate of, you know, Dark Fate. Okay. And Dark Fate doesn't have China to back him up. Back them up, okay? Genesis had China to save them, okay? The only reason why Dark Fate exists was because China saved Genesis from flopping at the box office, okay? And I can see how well the Adams family is doing at the box office currently. It's currently at um, $35 million. But you see, your Tornado Dark Fate is just not gonna do too well at the box office. Box office records. Biggest weekend. So, what's the do movie? They don't go that far down. So, is it actually on this list, surprisingly? Not for much longer, but. <laughs> You can see that so is just no one likes that movie. But Dark Fate is gonna underperform like seriously, okay? Dark Fate is gonna be a massive, massive flop for Paramount and Disney, because Disney is defeated in this movie internationally, so Disney will also be losing money as well. And this movie doesn't have great ratings. This movie is gonna completely bomb at the box office. I'm calling it now. Okay, Rupert was wrong about Joker, but they are going to be right about Terminator Dark Fate, okay? Nobody wants. <laughs> it's kind of like the ter Terminator is a franchise that's just being put off. It's basically on web support right now. It's just, they need to just end this franchise and put it on a big rest um, for a long time. And maybe reboot it with new, new people and new characters, okay? Same thing with, you know, Alien and Predator, which Disney wants to reboot again. Don't know why, but they want it's and oh yeah, we all the real reason why it's for money and they want to make it like a PG fourteen version of those movies. It's not gonna work and they're both gonna flop, okay? Okay, turn it Dark Fate. It is true Dark Fate for the entire franchise, indeed.